Whatever, go on to the video. <laughs> oh, I did see you there. Huh, what do you want for Christmas, Sonny? What? Oh, I get it. I know exactly what you want. You want some ho ho hoes? Don't let your kids watch it! Wow. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess Santa deserves to be on a naughty list for that one. Uh, man, where's my coal at? Anyways, <laughs> uh, today. Oh yeah, I forgot to say my intro actually. What's up everybody, it's your nerd Jaden, or it's your fat, obese Jaden, because you know I'm Santa Claus. And today, we are going to be ranking every single uh, Skylanders snow level. Now, if you snow, <laughs> um, most snow levels in Skylanders, they aren't the best, okay? Snow physics ruin it like drastically. <laughs> and um the whole level drastically. And um you know most of them I don't find too much you know joy out of. But uh hey we'll be ranking them from worst to best and uh just to let you know the cup that I'm holding has nothing in it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. The number fifth spot we have the Empire of Ice. Now the Empire of Ice has mixed perception. Um, I think some people. I don't, I don't really hear people love it per se. I think people think it's pretty good, not really outstanding. And then other people just hate it like me, uh, <laughs> mainly because. The ice physics one, the boss at the end, what the hell was that? <laughs> that was just embarrassing. Um, all you have to do for the boss is sh shoot the catapult uh, just a couple times and you win. Um, this whole level just is boring in general. I could go on and on, rant about it for an hour, which I don't want to talk about this level for an hour. That That's just wasting my day <laughs> or wasting my time. And, um, yeah, let's just talk about the whole summary of this level. Now, this is a adventure pack level that comes with a new chapter, two magical items, four stickers, four training cards, and the Skylander Slam Bam, which is a plus. Slam Bam is actually pretty good. Uh, in the console versions, Haldor, the great northern wizard, seeks the Skylander's help to save his village from Vandal Vale from the ice ogres. Ogres? I'm, I'm thinking of Shrek. Who get in my slum. <laughs> Who have turned the village into an icy wasteland by blocking out the sun using a giant ice wall they built. Yeah, the ice wall. What the hell? What kind of boss is an ice wall? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I, I complained enough about it. Let's move on. All right, so that's the number uh, four spot. <laughs> we have the winter keep. Now, this is a level I don't want to keep in my memory. <laughs> oh! Honestly, the Swamp Forest Curse is upon this level. It's long, and like the section where uh, you have to do the catapult, you can really tell I don't like catapults in Skylanders. Um, <laughs> You, you had to catapult the dang to take down the airships. The physics are just not the best, but um, everything else this level is pretty, I don't know, average. Um, I, I don't really have any outstanding things to really say about it, so let's just move on to the summary. Now, the Winter Keep is the 11th chapter of Skylander Swap Force. Here, the Skylanders help the Frost Elves in a massive snowball fight against the hostile forces that are trying to take over the keep. Now, that sounds cool, you know, in the summary, but, it, you know, when they're playing the level, it ain't all that. You know, the hype doesn't live up to it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Alright, so, that's the number third spot. Um, the third and second spot really could be, like, tied or interchangeable, but... I just decided to put 
this level at the number first spot. Uh, I think it's just, you know, I, I guess a good halfway point. Um, but yeah, we got Glacier Gully. Now, Glacier Gully, uh, I really like the music, actually. Um, <laughs> it's pretty nostalgic. Um, I mean, yes, nostalgia does play a factor into why it, it is, like, you know, in the middle part of the list. Um, and not, like, last. <laughs> because these ice physics... You know what I'm about to say. You know, I I guess uh, if you, you know if you wanted to incorporate ice into a level, you sh should have ice physics. But it doesn't mean you know they're good. You know, they're still not good. Um, anyway, but yeah, this level has noodles in it. That's all I really need to say too. Um, oh yeah, you meet the robot dude that. You know, has a fake out death, and then you know he comes back in the last chapter. Nice. I have to keep it kid friendly, and uh, that's about it. Let's get on to the summary. Now, Glacier Gully is the fifth chapter in Skyunder's Giants, located in the frozen wastelands of Vesh. Don't know what that means. It is known for some incredible hailstorms, and most of the residents know to stay indoors. When heavy chunks of hail start raining down to enter the secret well, the secrets, the Skylanders need an art key and a robot of their own. So they follow Hermit's directions to retrieve the robot he abandoned in Grey Street Gully some time ago. So that's pretty cool. Hermit has kind of a connection to this place. Um, Hermit, the guy that's scared of freaking clouds. Yeah, that guy. Um, yeah, that's about it with this level. Uh, even though it's a Giants level, I can't put it on number one. Alright, so it's a number second spot. Just like I said, could have been interchangeable with the number first spot. We have the Boney Islands. Now, the Boney Islands, um, it's like a museum, actually. You know, there's dinosaurs all over the place. Um, that, that's pretty cool, I would say. I mean, I'm a dinosaur kid, you know, I grew up with it. Um, <laughs> hey, biased is into this level. I'm not gonna deny it, but <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is a pretty good level. But you know, as always, small force, length, bad. <laughs> That's all that needs to be said. Um, but overall, this level is pretty solid. Um, and let's talk about the whole summary. Now, the Boney Islands is the tenth chapter in. The console versions of Skylander Swap Force. Here, the Skylanders help evacuate the frost elves from the ice museum during a Cyclops attack. Um, yeah, not too much else to say. Uh, overall, I don't know why uh, Swap Force really likes their ice levels. It it's weird, but let's just roll with it. Alright, so at the number first spot, uh, you probably saw this coming. We have the Frost Fest Mountains. Now this place is pretty jolly. It does, it just, when I think of Christmas for Skylanders, I think of this level. Um, you know, there's when you get to the town, there's lights all over the place. Some NPCs have hot chocolate. You know, they're all jolly and having a good time. You know, when there's not fog all over the place. Um, <laughs> it's, you know, that's just, you know, they're celebrating the holiday spirit. I, I, I can't blame them. Um, this level, uh, not counting the Mesmerada fight, which I do want to include, but apparently Swap Force um, did say, oh, oh no, we're going to count the boss fights as their own levels. So, you know, with or without um, including the Mesmerada fight, this level is still probably at the number one spot for me. Um, the Frostmouth Mountains is a cold, remote area of the Cloud Break Islands. It is home to Yetis and the ancient Frost Hound. Uh, each year, the Yetis of the Frostfest Mountains celebrate the eruption of the Mount Cloud Break by hosting a festival. However, no one ever told them that the eruption comes only once every hundred years. But no harm is done since the Yetis wouldn't be able to see it. Anyways, uh, through the never-ending blizzard that is throughout 
this mountain that we go and trek on. Um, there's so many cool environments. The atmosphere in this level is uh, pretty nice too. Um, yeah, there's overall really good scenery. Um, and uh, I really like the part where you, there's like platforms of ice and you have to jump across them um, when the river's swelling and stuff. Um, that's pretty fun. Overall, this level, uh, I think it encapsulates Christmas in general. Alright, so, that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, I did have some very harsh critiques, I'm, not, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. But, hey, it's just my opinion at the end of the day. Um, hey, I respect your opinion, you respect mine, that's how the cycle goes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys have a very good holiday, may it be Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever. Um, holiday you are celebrating this December um, hope it is a jolly one yeah <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys later and uh, peace